Next I'm going to put the transmission mount back in. I plugged the wiring harness back into the top of the transmission. I have the rear transmission mount um, back on and the bolt started. It uh, might help to use a ratchet wrench. It's kind of a tight place to get into. Okay, so next the uh, transmission mount on the driver's side. I've got the stud for the mount back in here, have a nut on here, and I just need to tighten this nut. I put the two nuts back on the bracket for the shifter cable. So tighten those up. And I put the nut back on the bracket for the wiring harness. I'm going to put the nut back on for the motor mount in the front of the car. I put the steering shaft back onto the power steering. You can see it under the boot here. And next I'm going to replace the pinch bolt. I have a long extension with a knuckle on the end so I can get to the bolt and tighten it. And the pinch bolt gets tightened to 35 foot-pounds. I've replaced the frame to body bolts on the driver's side and tightened the ones on the passenger side and they get torqued to 141 foot-pounds. These two transmission mount nuts here and this bolt get tightened to 52 foot-pounds. Next I'm replacing the bolts for the ABS modulator. So there's one on the top of the frame and there's another one underneath on the front of the frame and one more on the driver's side on top of the frame. The boot over the steering knuckle should just snap back into place. You may have to rotate it back and forth while pushing it on. Now I'm ready to install the drive shaft. You want to lube this end up with some fresh transmission fluid. To get the axle back onto the shaft on the transmission, you may have to move it up and down side to side to get it lined up and then push it all the way in until it's seated. You can check that it's seated by pulling on the joint housing and it shouldn't pop out. But do not pull out here on the axle shaft. Just pull on the joint housing. I have the strut back in the car and on the top there's two plastic pins to locate it and then three bolts and they get torqued to 35 foot-pounds. And now I'm going to install the axle into the hub and bearing. And you have to get the splines lined up and then 
push that on. Now I'm going to reconnect this wiring harness. There's a little rubber grommet on here. It just snaps into this bracket. And then just push the plug back in. I'm going to reconnect the ball joint to the knuckle. And then replace the nut. Okay, so I have the uh, four jack under the control arm to push the ball joint all the way in. I've tightened the nut, and then you have to line up the slots in the nut with the hole so you can put a cotter pin back in. Once you have the cotter pin in place, bend the ends over so it can't come out. And now the rotor goes on. And then next will be the brakes. Once you have the caliper bracket installed, tighten these two bolts to 137 foot-pounds. Next I put the brake caliper back on and I'll tighten these two bolts. And these two bolts get torqued to 38 foot-pounds. And then you want to check and make sure that the dust boots are covering the bolt. Now I'm going to replace this uh, bracket that holds the brake line. Next, the wheel nut goes on, and you should always replace it with a new one. Now I'm going to put the tie rod end back in. And replace the nut and washer. So you want to tighten the nut to 22 foot-pounds and then an additional 180 degrees and replace the cotter pin. Laser link back in and we tighten the nut to 13 foot-pounds. Now I'm going to put the air box back on and these tabs just go into those slots. So it should just snap under here and then tighten these two bolts. Next the air intake duct goes on. You might have to wiggle it around a lot to get it on and then make sure this little tab is in here and fully on. Once it's on then tighten this hose clamp and replace the sensor. To replace the splash guard, these tabs here go inside the fender and then line up these holes and take the plastic rivet and push it in the hole and push the pin back in. Then replace the front splash guard 
and take your plastic rivets, put them in the hole, and just push the pin in. Replace the tire and tighten the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. Reattach the negative battery cable. Before putting the back seat in place, make sure the seat belts are in the slots where they belong. And then just give it a good push on the front, on each side, and that'll lock it in. 